Hey guys, how are we all doing? It's time for another quick video. This is going to be looking at the iconic bass Jacko, which is made by Orange Tree Samples, which is a fretless bass uh, sample library for contract, contact. Excuse me. You need the contact um, full version. Contact player won't you won't play it. Um, it doesn't show up in the libraries here on the side. You have to actually load the files. Um, I've got it to do a Paul Simon backing track. Um, needed fretless bass on it. I have hired a fretless bass before, and it was a disaster. I ended up drawing fret, frets on the neck of the thing with a pencil which was absolutely ridiculous but um so yeah it's not as easy as it looks um so yeah i got this library it's 99 dollars, about 60 odd quid uh to do the job i will play you I'll dive straight in so you can hear it um i'll play the quickly a little bit of the track so you can hear the, the bass in context with the track and then i will quickly have a look at the way it works and the key switches etc and here we go Okay, so you can hear it's kind of a, it's a really it's a nice bass part. It's all over the place. Um, probably very very difficult to play on a real bass. Um, you'll see I've got two instances of the library open because uh, there is some parts, some little slides which are on two different strings at the same time. And I'm not sure if you can actually do that without having two instances open. Um, this is my first go with this thing, so um, I thought I'd just open two instances and then just do two different slides basically. Uh, together. Um, the signal path, they do have amp modeling built in, uh, but my what I've done is I've left it just as the dry signal which is sampled straight out of the bass and I'm going through just to give it some meat basically uh, the Waves GTR uh, guitar modeling plugin which is just on a bass amp with a DI control right up to the top so it, it is a sort of the same mix between the DI and the amp as it were same level from each I guess um, and that's going into the CLA bass plugin just to give it a bit of low end bit of push compression a little bit of sub and a touch of chorus as well which is always nice on fretless bass just to give it a bit of depth um, I will quickly play you the signal without the plugins so you can you can hear it without any effects on it whatsoever <laughs> And the plugins back on. So you can hear it's just give it a, a that sort of thick, nice thick sound. Okay, so let's have a dive in. I'm just gonna put the rest of the track away into folders so they're not kind of on your screen so much. I can zoom in on these parts which are the two bass parts. So the top one is the main part, the second one is the little kind of extra slidey bits added. So here we go, these, these are the, this is the bass part here. Um, these notes here are actually key switches on C1. Uh, the bass goes down as far as D, so there's a drop D. Um, it's not a five string bass, it's four strings, so it goes down to a drop D, and that's as low as you can go, which will be um, there. Okay, so that's your drop D. So then beneath that, you've got this C sharp, which is just a slap on the strings with the fingers. And then C1, which will bring in a vibrato, and the vibrato will correspond to the velocity of the C1 key switch. Um, so you'll see this, this note here has got vibrato on it when it's played with the key switch. Just got a slight vibrato going on. Okay, so that's that C1 key switch. These ones down here denote strings. You can actually tell the instrument what string you want to be playing on. So obviously a high note here would normally, automatically, the plugin would jump up to a higher string. Um, so for instance, a B flat may be the first fret on the A string, or you could play the sixth fret on the E string. Uh, so if you want it to be on the E string, you can tell it it needs to be on the E string to give it that sound of because obviously after a slide you're going to be up the neck somewhere playing a higher note on the neck um, and this speaking of slides is a slide which is done with a sustain pedal so as long as the sustain is there before this note 
and then that note, because they overlap, it will slide between the two. Okay, so that's the way it does the slides, and then the second part I have with the slide is sliding between these notes. Okay, so then together, it's kind of like two strings. Okay, and this section here is quite a complicated little section. Let's have a little listen to that one as well. Okay, so that's a slide down from that to that. That's the same, that's a slide. And then this is a slide there because we've got the sustain pedal coming in. Um, that's about it for the straightforward notes. You do have harmonics. Um, so for instance, if I'm playing a, there you go, that's a D3, as you can see there. You've got kiki switches down the bottom, which will bring in harmonics. So they're on A0, B flat 0, and B0, or A0, B flat 0, and B0. Gives you the three different harmonics on that note. And then in the higher registers, the higher keys are all... If I just scroll up so you can see where I'm playing. These are muted notes. And then depending on velocities, some of the notes will be like a kind of a muted harmonic. Which would be an open string, kind of a... Um, I can't remember what they actually called them. But kind of a semi-harmonic or something, I don't know. So there's lots of different variations. Of different kind of noises that you get off a bass. Um, and the slides do sound fairly kind of cool because they've got this kind of fret buzz as well underneath. So it does, it, you know, I think it sounds pretty cool, pretty authentic. Um, and I just want to play one other section on the track, which is the brass section. I'll play that whole section and then I'll play the bass on its own. <laughs> Okay, so in the, in the bass part, there's quite a lot of movement there, um, which I'm using a lot of the muted notes at the top. These ones. Uh, combined with uh, string, deciding which strings we're going to use down the bottom as well, which are these key switches here, which is the minus one key switches. So I'll play that bass on its own for that section, so you can hear it working. So you hear that that one there is that's the string tap, the slap I think they call it, compared to the muted note. And in this instance on this section, we're using pitch bend for the actual slides. Um I just find it easier to program it like that because they were just very short little bends. Um, so it's kind of down to your own preference, which you prefer if it's a, if it's a small, a quick bend rather than a long slide, you know. So that's a slide down there. So I've used a sustain there for the slide down between these two notes. Followed by a pitch bend for the slide up to that note. So that is about it, basically. I um, hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was useful. I mean, the main reason for putting this video up is because there, when I was looking for a library, there was one very short video of this plugin. Um, so I kind of bought it, really just having a lot of faith in the fact that it was gonna do the job. Um, just reading the stuff that was written on the Orange Tree Samples website. Um, so I took the plunge and it, it kind of does the job. So it will be my go-to fretless library from now on, obviously. Um, so yes, hopefully you find it useful if you're out there looking for what, you know, for what it actually sounds like, you want to hear it for yourself. Um, hopefully that did the job. So I'm going to sign off for now and say bye.